Hello, Gemini. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using The Gilded Tarot by Ciro Marchetti. There is a companion book by Barbara Moore. Um, website is Llewellyn.com if you're interested. Supportive Oracle Cards, Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish. Illustrated by Jesse Reich. There's also a website I noticed heyhouse.com. I've seen the Hay House website before. I just don't know if this is where I saw it. I thought this didn't have a website on it, but I noticed it, so there it is. All right. What do we have for Gemini? You got some like really strong success. Don't walk away from it before you get it. Don't walk away from it before you get it. That's what I'm getting right off the bat. Um, somebody's getting out of your way. Somebody's going to be getting out of your way, but I don't feel like they're giving you the truth about that happening. It's like somebody, it's almost like you work with somebody and they're about to move or something like that, but they're keeping it very tight lipped. They're not dropping any hints about it. They might be a little bit slippery too. That's the thing. Gemini can see a lot of different angles and that's true, but I feel like you're not, they're not dropping any hints that they're about to go. It's just, I don't see it like, I don't see you catching on to it. Because they don't, I feel like they're keeping it very quiet, but they're saying, don't give up, hold on. Because it looks like th whatever the situation is, you're like, I'm just so over it. I'm over it. I'm fed up with it. I'm thinking I'm going to need to change something. You're looking at different angles. You're not seeing, you're not seeing them moving on as a viable option. You don't trust it. Um, and I feel like this energy doesn't want you to know that either. So they're, they're making it look otherwise. So they might be throwing out some information, making it look like, look like they're over-invested in something that they're really not. Um, when they walk away, see, some they're walking away. I'm getting somebody's walking away with the Three of Wands. When they walk away, it leaves, like, it's like the Page of Cups is here. It's like somebody has this um, opportunity and when this person walks away, this person walks away, this this other person has like, well, I have an opportunity for somebody. The person who had it before left. So I have an opportunity for somebody. Opportunity for somebody. Um, just be careful. The person you're dealing with that's currently around you is very like, they're holding a lot back. They're holding a lot back. So the fact that they're leaving that's minimal. It almost feels minimal. There's a lot that they're holding back. There's a lot they're hiding. Um, how do I put this? It's almost like a scavenger hunt, if you will, if I dare go there. And if you don't have the clues to know something is there, you have a hard time. It's really hard to find it. So it's almost like not even knowing, not even knowing that there's a scavenger hunt going, but it's almost like there's a list of clues hidden underneath the carpet, but it's on a flat piece of paper, and you can't. There's no bump in the carpet. It's a flat piece of paper. You're not going to see it. The clue is right there under the carpet. It's like we've probably walked over it three or four times, but you don't have any inkling to look there, and it looks just like everything else. There's no reason you would look. Like there's nothing tripping you off to like mm, there could be something going on there. Um. Once you catch on, though, you'll, you'll be fine. I know that. Once you realize what's going on. Um, and I feel like that won't be till this person exits. I feel, like, I feel like once they exit, it's like, wait a minute. What else was going on here? Um, there's a lot of discord here. I'm noticing. This is a weird. This is weird. It's the Six of Pentacles, but I'm getting some discord with it. Other people were trying to work with this energy and they were just trying to balance it out while they had to deal with it. That's very interesting. It's like the, the discord with the balance. People, there were people around this person only when they were around were they 
compliant, compatible. Almost like they felt like they need to. This is kind of reminding me of a work situation. Kind of like where you have a person that's really not the nicest person, but people get along with them because if you don't get along with them, they just make life so difficult and there's just so much ridiculousness to deal with. So you decide to just go along with it. And there's discord there. It's like a lot of, when I say discord, I feel like a lot of dislike. In truth, there's a lot of dislike for this person. But on the surface, it wasn't as apparent because it's kind of like for some reason they're like, well, in this situation, I have to deal with them. So I'm just going to play nice just to get them out of my way. Um, you got the moon card going to your advantage. All of this happening around you, once that person steps away, it's like it's like the day, it's like the moon leaves and then the sun rises and you can see what's really going on here. Things are not what they seem. Things are not what they seem. Even though you see a lot of angles and a lot of different ways things could go, there's a lot of like misrepresent misrepresentation, um, incomplete information, misleading information. It's all going to get cleared up when this person walks away. That's when you become the magician. That's when your power moment comes in. Because then you, I feel like you realize like when they step away, that opens up a lot of possibilities. You also seem to understand. I feel like immediately you're like, well, this is this has got a timer on it. It's not going to last all that long. So if I want something, I got to act while the window's opening because the window is shutting ever so quickly. <laughs> and and I feel like that's getting you to move quickly. You're like, okay, I got to think quick. I got to decide quick. I got to move quick. Um, it that's I feel like another reason why you got the um, magician, but you also have success here. I feel like you're going to realize I don't have a lot of time to think. I got to gather my information quickly, make my decision, and make my move. Now that they're out of the way, we're all not just going to sit here and look at each other and smile. That's not going to happen very long. Things need to change. Things need to move. Um, I need to make my choices. That person who had that opportunity, somebody has an opportunity. It's like I see the, the page of cups holding that cup. That cup is your cup. That's for you. I feel like you're a lot more protected too. They're saying once you have this opportunity, you're a lot. You, I feel more protected. I don't feel like things are as bad as they were because it might have felt like things were very unscrupulous or I felt very just unsafe. I don't know. I didn't feel comfortable. I was very uncomfortable. But I feel like the psychic protection coming in with this Ace of Cups, once you get that new opportunity, things will feel a lot better. Um... I also feel like there's a shifting of people. Like I see like a, a group of people walking away and a different group walking in, but some of them stay the same or some of them are connected somehow. I don't know how exactly that works. There's a shifting of groups, something like that. And you've got this coming in. Um, you're going to be a lot happier than you thought you could. There's going to be people who treat you better later Minus the influence of whoever walked away. Whoever walked away, I don't know what the deal was with that person. But with that person out of the situation, you're getting treated a lot better. And people are a lot nicer to you. I feel like it's not lost on you. Kind of like, all right, is this just like, while the weather is good, you're nice to me? Is that how this works? Like, once it gets rough, if it gets rough again, does that mean I have to watch my back for you again? Like, what's the deal? Um... Yeah, keep your eye on people. Um, keep your eye on people. People are going to be a lot nicer to you. I don't think it's lost on you, though. Kind of like, yeah, that's a little sketchy. You know, you're not... Before, when so-and-so was around, you weren't really nice to me, but now that they're gone, you are a lot more nice to me. And uh, It's sketchy. You might have to figure out, like, what's the deal with some of these people? Like, are they just fair weather friends? Or... Did they have some other motive before to be the way they are? Do they have a different motive now to be the way they are? You might have to do a little bit of sleuthing on that. Um, I feel a lot of good things coming in, though. If people are going to keep offering you more, um, I don't know if this is going to be literal with the travel because I'm not feeling that energy with this. When I'm feeling that train, I'm feeling like there's learning involved with this for some reason. And I feel like you're going forward to the next level. Um... Especially with the high priestess, because this is somebody who's very intellectually smart. 
in my opinion. That I usually get some type of like melding like street smarts with book smarts and knowing what to do with both. Like how to take intellectual knowledge and like everyday life knowledge and meld them together to their optimal. And there's this going to the next level for you. I see that happening with this next situation coming forward that's coming up that's a part of this opportunity you have coming in. Um, there's this very strong family atmosphere I'm getting with the chariot. Like there's a bonded, like we're moving together as a group, like we're coming together as a group, like the chariots all coming together, moving forward together, and you're seeming to be a part of this group that's gonna move that way. A lot of harmony, a lot of harmonizing, a lot of like there might be a lot of social connections, like where you have some time after work or maybe you do things on weekends with people. You make friends like that here in this new situation. It seems like this is not just a job. It's almost like a way of life. It seems like it might be all-encompassing. Fair, fair warning. I don't know what you're going into, but it seems to be very involved and very, like it just, there's a lot. I feel like you're constantly busy here and there, that, this and that. That's really kind of, that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. It's going up to some next level. So whatever that means for you, let me know in the comments if that makes sense and like where that's going because it's very interesting to me. Um, there's a lot of success here, but they're saying in the very beginning, I think they, they said, don't walk away now. Hold on because even though you don't see it, somebody else is walking away. When they walk away, doors are opening for you. Things are going to get a lot better for you. This is going to be much worth it. Don't walk away before it gets really good for you. And it may be hard to see that right now, but they're saying just give it a couple more months. You'll see it's worth it. All right, I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. And thank you for watching.